Hi Sagittarius, this is Sean from Charlie's Angel Tarot and welcome back. Uh, and if you're new, welcome. And welcome to my uh, faithful Cyber Angels. And for the new people that have come in, please subscribe and hit the bell. And you've got three choices, so hit on all, then you'll be notified when I go live on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. Those are the nights that I give out free cards and there's also super chat and super stickers available for personal questions. Um, thank you very much my cyber angels for returning and supporting the, our channel again without you. It wouldn't be what it is. Um, it, would, it would be just me and the cards but I do love uh, interacting with you and that's why uh, last Friday, yesterday, it was such a wonderful day and I did enjoy getting to know most of you that came in and uh, dis uh, chatted with me and if you really like uh, to do that again then please let me know and we'll organize another date. I did this mainly because uh, I thought everybody wanted a change and perhaps to get an opportunity to get to know me and discuss the readings um, or the interviews, reviews or ask any other questions bes besides doing um, donated readings. Okay, if you would like to have more information and would like to have an extent experience an extended personal reading, then look at the details below this video in the description box or in this little white circle just in the corner here. Click on that and it will take you through to the website charliesangel.com. Okay, and um, this is your reading for the 20th to the 27th of April 2020, Sagittarius, and we're going, I'm using the Archangel Power Deck, which I got from my youngest daughter, and uh, it's a couple of years old, so they look a bit battered, but last week I, uh, I do appreciate my old decks, and I don't want to forget them. I did a review because I hadn't done a review on this one and so just so that you can see the pictures one by one and more distinctively. Um, you're the last one but not the least one as you know Saji. I'm using also the Tartanian um, Lenamon and I'm using the Romance and the Answer of the Angels deck and I'm also using the colour a uh, uh, color deck from Ina Seagull. You, this helps you with meditation. You can wear the color, you can eat the color, you can um, meditate on the color, you, uh, and it helps you with getting uh, less stressed in meditation, detox, etc. etc. You know, being by now, I always have a card that you can use for meditation or an affirmation. And here we go. First of all, you've got the Six of Raphael, and Six of Raphael is the Six of Cups. I hope you can see it, although it's a bit uh, dark because it's evening now. And the Six of Cups means that somebody from the past might be coming back and bringing you a gift. Embrace your inner child, new friends or rekindled relationships, children or childhood. So there might, if the if you've had been separated from your uh, partner or boyfriend or girlfriend, then they might be returning. They might have been away on holiday or a business trip, or they might have been separated because of this lockdown. And to this is amazing. This is in these readings several amazing things have happened now we've got the garden that means gatherings presentations okay they will go through cyber at the moment because you can't go outside and uh, gather at parks or whatever and have a reunion but there will be a reunion of some sort or if you've got your own business you'll be networking as in the 16th 17th century um, they used to meet in parks and gar public gardens and they used to organize and do business and meet up, have reunions and do network. Okie dokie. So these are, this is coming back and this is reunion. So it's one and the same thing. 
uh, midweek you have the page of Ariel and page of Ariel could also be Capricorn because the king, queen and page represent zodiac signs but don't exclude the Taurus or the Virgo but prominently it means uh, Capricorn the page of Ariel means that you um, might be getting news this could be about a study this could be about uh, something official because look at all the books it looks like a lawyer's office or a court an old-fashioned court with all the books it could be from a co college or a university as books also mean study and wisdom so this could be relating to a job this could be also relating to a new study a scholarship or a diploma you'll be getting news that is durable and of for um, and has uh, long-term effects so you might have passed your exam and you are fully qualified now so you are going to earn money that is long the long-term side of it well you've got this scythe and the scythe means cutting away from the past leaving the past the past you have cut yourself also a new path because usually you cut away in front of you with the scythe I've actually used the scythe and you cut in a path so uh, you are taking the wisdom and your life experience with you from the past but my advice is throw away what is of no use to you take with you what is of use to you that is what you've learned with all these books around you and you might start uh, learning again you might have get news that you've been accepted to enter a course perhaps you had to do an entry exam but something is coming back from the past but you finished with it so if you don't like this reunion or somebody coming back from the past stay cool and just let them know what your boundaries are and that you are standing your ground Friday you have the ten of Ariel the ten of Pentacles that means um, happy families happy and fulfillment something has come full circle new beginnings you're going into a better future okay I did forget excuse me to read what was underneath this card it says an excellent opportunity will be offered to you scholarships or the pursuit of education time to get to work time to get to work like I said you might be uh, you might have to do an entry exam sorry about that um, now you know that I do edit whilst I'm making a new video so I'll cut that bit out and um, uh, like I said you might have had to do an entry exam and you got the news so that is relating so you've got happy families here now you are feeling totally in your element at this moment because the 10 means full circle 10 is the end a new beginning well if you're going to start this new study or if you this new job then it is indeed a new beginning so you will be happy about that and I think the whole family will benefit from it if you have children uh, or a partner there is so very much to be grateful for financial success and the promise of retirement a rich and rewarding family life so the uh, ten of Ariel is the ten of Pentacles there might even be uh, uh, an inheritance as this, this is the ten of Pentacles as well um, emotionally you'll be be happy um, but this could also be winning a lottery ticket or winning winning from a scratch card or receiving a gift whatever happens well, or you could be receiving a grant um, you've got the tower so the tower means that you are ambitious or you might have the money now to buy this house that, or apartment that you have had your eye on 
that's a high rise or you might work or study in a high rise uh, and I all of a sudden I get a uh, Harry Potter in there uh, in my head so you might be studying with s a building with towers around it like Harry Potter but don't f the tower in Lenormand means it's okay to be ambitious but don't forget the people around you remember the people and make time for people around you that support you and that love you because when you reach the top it can be very lonesome lonesome well there's also I keep in the back of my mind the tower of tarot and that tower you see falling down as it is not built on proper foundations this tower is standing solid so yes ambition means building but the tower can definitely fall over if you are not prepared to uh, take note of the warning make sure it's built on a proper foundation whatever you do and to maintain the balance in your life with the love and nurturing and caring uh, of the people that surround you and support you give them time and give them love back make them know you're busy and that you'll make time uh, whenever it is possible and the tower in uh, uh, the in the in the tarot means that friends fall away okay it's an unexpected change um, but you couldn't make decisions so the divine stepped in and gave you this unexpected change well it's slightly different in the Lenormand but I always keep that in the back of my mind as a warning card again you have a 10 and this is the 10 of cups so this is the card happy emotional families there might even be expansion with not only money or material wise but there might even be an ex extension in the family now usually you see a dog um, in the ten of cups the the family with the dog and the cat but here they've made it into a butterfly but the ten of cups means happy emotional uh, relationships being one unit you can see the children are happy in the background and mum and dad are enjoying time chatting together enjoying a picnic some of you might not be able to go outside but perhaps it is uh, you can do it in the back of the garden or go somewhere where you are allowed to have a picnic because the sun is shining quite a bit nowadays and um, as we are coming to the end of April and um, yeah it is a beautiful card you can also see the rainbow um, heaven and earth are together so there might be ancestors or people that you might be thinking about they are letting you know that they are there for you and they admire you and still love you love and blessings fill your life harmonious relationships with family members happy ever after and this card does remind me of the people that we once knew and were with us they remember us so perhaps you might see a butterfly fly as a sign or an angel feather and that will be your a relation sh uh, a relation family relation showing you they are thinking of you and that they are with you and I was talking about sunshine not real realizing that the Sun was there so Sagittarius you are a fire sign but the Sun represents Leo so that there might be a Leo that has an eye on you um, as the Sun is a spotlight and a spotlight also illuminates so there might be something you still not certain or know about um, and you need to uh, do more research so here comes Sherlock Holmes I'm getting all these messages so do more research if you're signing contracts look at the small print or get them checked out okay now you might be moving home uh, you might be um, going on holiday to a warm country 
or you might be have planned to go on holiday and you didn't expect this news and uh, also the lockdown so you might have to alter that is what is illuminated perhaps you need to alter your plans um, and uh, get more information about this holiday you might find out you're pregnant uh, if you don't want to get pregnant then take precautions the pregnancy me uh, and also the sun means birth so birth means of a child or a project a new job a new hobby a new home uh, there you go a new beginning uh, like I said you've cut away from the past and you're making your own path that is a new beginning and you've got an emotional new beginning so it could be a love affair or a next level up because the Sun also means a promotion or a next level up in the relationship and you've got the cups here so you might be instead of living together you might be getting engaged or getting married who knows only you will know what resonates with you you might have the money to uh, buy this house now um, so that you can extend the, the family so you've got two tens so uh, ten becomes a one so you've got one one here so that's also an angel number you have the ace of Raphael the ace of cups so this means a new beginning this could be in love or something that you're passionate about or a passion or something that you can nurture that could be a baby that could also be a pet and um, that is also extending the family if you have a cat or a dog or a rabbit might all of a sudden come in and that you love and can cuddle and nurture and be passionate about so there you are a positive new emotional experience fulfilling romantic relationships deep and lasting spiritual insights as the water signs are usually spiritual intuitive and very emotional again you have a message coming in perhaps a visitor or you are going to visit like I said you might be going on a holiday or a break again you've got somebody coming back from the past so you might be getting a visitor definitely news as you have the rider now um, for the romance card you have flirt extend your light-hearted energy to others in other words let your inner child come out don't be too serious all the time Sagittarius you can be very very serious you're the se most serious out of the fire signs okay and you have chestnut brown this is mind-blowing I told you 10 and 10 is 1 and 1 that's two number ones next door to each other that's number 11 again you've got a number 11 the angels are here and I told you ancestors people that have passed the rainbow they are here they're letting you know these are the signs and look at those two blue stripes now that's never appeared on a card before it's like an orb but actually it's the lights of the camera so somebody is mucking around up there and it says ground yourself ground yourself chestnut brown carry a chestnut carry a, 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 a um, conquer a conquer carry something brown eat chocolate drink chocolate that is what you can do you can wear brown ground yourself use the color chestnut chestnut brown chestnut brown you can keep on repeating that once you're in meditation or contemplation ask for help from others if you get stuck emotionally then ask help don't hide away your emotions you can flirt no problem you know what you can do and what you can't do have your let your inner child come out have a bit of fun 
and say no to something that you don't want. Learn to say no. If you don't want the past back, then stick with the cutting. Okay? You're on a new path now. S ground yourself. Stand in your strength. Okay, my Sagittarius, I hope you've enjoyed this reading. Take care, my beautiful Sag, and remember, I love you. Big hugs. Take care, and please like and share. See you in the live, hopefully on Monday, Wednesday, or Friday. For free cards, or a super chat, or a super stickers are also available when you want a personal question asked. Take care, and I love you. Ciao, ciao.